win over Albany, making it 25 straight home wins over non-conference opponents tonight. Yes, back on the floor, virtually an NBA type schedule to start the season. Back to back games and then they'll play number five Duke this coming Tuesday. But before the trip to Chicago, they to take on the Blue Devils tonight, they take on the New Jersey Institute of Technology coming into Rupp Arena. Scal LaBissier starting us off. The Haitian sensation. He really couldn't miss. He's incredibly skilled. Big man, look at him go. Ball's tipped, gets back, knocks in the jumper. Tyler Eulis this time, later in the game, in the first half. Oh, give me that. That's Isaiah Briscoe. 11 points, 12 rebounds for Briscoe. UK led by eight at the half. Second half, more from Scow. Off the miss, give me that. Woo, puts it in. Scow LeBizier with 26, that's a game high. UK tried to out a little zone defense. Cats force a turnover and Derek Willis getting buckets. Another huge night for Willis. That's Jamal Murray. Steps into the passing lane, he gets the steal, and go to the Highlands Black and Blue Clinic scoreboard. Kentucky is 2-0. The Wildcats win 87-57. Coach Calipari on Derek Willis after the game. He gave it to the guard and went down, and he ends up driving, and we throw it to him for a three in the corner. I mean, Derek is really helping us. Again, you're talking about a 6'9", 6'10", athlete that's long, can block, and guard, can shoot. I mean, um, proud of him, too. All right, next up, the Champions Classic in Chicago is up next for the second-ranked basketball Cats. Duke and Kentucky getting together. The Blue Devils are ranked number five in the nation. Both teams 2-0. Both teams playing back-to-back -back games. Uh, Duke played tonight and crushed. 7.30 tip-off on ESPN this Tuesday, November 17th.